Hello, my name is Graham and welcome to my Demon Souls walkthrough series. If you were playing along with me in episode 1, you will have cleared all of this first world of Demon Souls, what we call World 1-1, and you will be in this position where I am right outside our first boss fight that we are about to take on, and I'm going to explain to you what it is we're going to be fighting, how best we're going to want to beat them at he whatever so the first boss fight in demon souls remake is the phalanx now if you remember back towards the end of the last episode when we came down the second stairway just before we got back to in front of this boss room we seen those little blobs that had like the shield stuck on the front of them the phalanx is basically a big mound of goo covered by lots and lots of them and it makes this sort of big shield wall that sticks spears out of it. So what we're going to want to do is we need to kill the small individual little blobs that cover the phalanx. And in doing that, we expose the kind of soft underbelly underneath that we can actually damage. And that's how we get the boss's health down and eventually beat it. So when you walk into this boss fight, it can look quite intimidating. What you need to understand straight off is the phalanx is very slow. It has a very, very limited number of attacks. So as long as you keep your shield up, as long as you keep moving around the boss arena so it doesn't get behind you and none of its little individual blobs get behind you, you will be fine. You can take as long as you want to do the fight. Just keep chipping away at it and we will be okay. One thing to note, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode when we came across the little blobs, the shields at the very front of them are very, very resistant to physical damage. So we're not going to want to attack them head on. What you will see me do is you will see me kite around the boss room to try and get side on or get behind some of the little blobs to get at their, their the, the part of them that doesn't have the shield to kill them and then you will see me keep ducking and moving around the room just to try and create those openings so we don't want to attack it head on do not attack it head on other point to note the they and the phalanx of the, the main body of the phalanx are weak to fire so if you have fire bombs like we do here um if you have where is it pain resin you can use that and it will certainly help you um, it'll make this process a little bit quicker for you. I will try and sort of demonstrate it. I don't have too many fire bombs just now, but I'll try and demonstrate it anyway so you can see what it looks like. So if you've got fire, use fire, take your time, wait for openings, and I'll, I'll explain it as I'm going as well, but just before we go into the room, that's the kind of key points I wanted to, to talk about. So, here we go. We're going to go into the room, and we're going to see the phalanx, and then I'm going to explain as we go. So here we are. Phalanx is in front of us. You'll see it's this big mound of these little blobby guys with a few stragglers around the edges. It's slow. It does have range that, a ranged attack and that it throws those spears. So I'm just going to run around the room and I'm going to use these pillars for cover to try and draw it in close towards me. And you'll see we've already separated a group of them from the main body. And you'll see one firebomb takes a fair few of them out. Now the beauty of this fight is it actually gets easier the longer you go. Because the longer you go, the less of these little dudes there are. So the less careful you need to be. So you just see, I'm, all I'm doing is just running around the room right now. Keeping my distance between the main body of the phalanx. Trying to separate these little blobs from the main body and isolate them. And then we're picking off the stragglers basically. I was just turning my headphone volume down there because it was pretty loud in my ears. So we're, all we're doing is we're just running around the room trying to isolate some of them. We're not staying still for too long, because if we do, 
There's a danger we might get pinged by a ranged attack and I'm out of firebombs. I thought I was about to use a firebomb there. <laughs> See, we're not staying still for too long. I'm, 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 I'm killing one of the little blobs and then I'm running around. I'm just doing circles around the room until I identify stragglers. Nothing really doing there, so I'm going to back out and back away. And you'll see we've not taken any health off of the um, the actual phalanx itself, and that's because the bit. It's the main body under all of these little shield guys that actually contributes towards the overall sort of big health bar. I'm just going to let it actually come to us a little bit here because we're not um, getting as many stragglers eliminated as we possibly could be. Yeah, that one turned around. I've just gone two-handed just now. Just for a bit of extra damage. Now I'm going to want to get out of there. You just need to be mindful of your stamina as well. When you're trying to kill the little individual phalanx blobs. Because you want to make sure you've got enough left for a dodge roll. In the event that you need to get out of there. This little straggler is going to get it. And it just turned its shield round. We just need to be patient. It's, it's taken a bit of time to try and isolate them. And in fairness, I'm probably being a little bit more cautious than I need to be. Just so I don't fuck it up and for illustration purposes. So that I can show that if you are uncomfortable with a fight, it is your first time. There is absolutely no rush. You could you could run around this room forever and ever and ever and the Phalanx would never hit you. It would never be able to do anything to you. Well, there's exactly what we want there. We ran around in a circle and we identified a couple of them with their backs to us and we just quickly took them out and we moved on. There's one with its back to us. We're going to see if we can get it. Oh. Just got to shield round in time. And we took a little bit of damage, but not too much from a ranged attack. There's another one that's back to us. A nice way of judging when one of the little blobs are about to attack. You will see that they get they get their spear out. They sort of draw the spear first and kind of go and get ready to attack before they actually do it. So if you see a spear out, it's because they are about to attack. They don't just hold their spears passively. So if you see a spear, you know an attack's coming. And the attacks are slow, you just need to keep moving when they won't hit you. And there's another couple down. And we've still not done any damage to the, the big health bar. We're not massively worried about that right now, because that will come in time. And this is literally the whole fight. The phalanx doesn't change. There's no crazy second phase where it fucking grows legs or starts breathing fire or anything like that. It's just this. So you can just take your time, pick your moments. And just rinse and repeat until you eventually open it up. Then what I'm going to do is when, when once I've got the main body a bit more exposed, I'm going to use a pine resin just to illustrate how much extra damage it does. Oh, that we one managed to hit us. We're just going to duck behind this pillar and we're going to heal. <clears throat> I'm 
It's nice and simple. There's nothing stressful. There's no crazy skill at the game required here. We're just being patient, picking our moments. And you can start to, you're starting to see now the green sort of mass in the middle of the phalanx. That's the thing we, uh, we need to get to to be able to damage it. As I say, we're not going to push our luck. We're going to take our time. You'll notice that I'm not locking on to anything here as well. Just makes it just allows me to move around the arena slightly freer. Whoops, might take damage here. No, nope, good. Just allows me to move around the arena slightly freer, where I'm not locked on to anything, because it gives me complete control of my camera. Another one down. I'm just going to stop for a second and have a wee look at how we're shaping up. So what the phalanx does is, as you kill its little individual goo balls that are out on the floor, it starts spitting more and more out from its main body. Oh, I did a bit of a quick turn there. Healing. You know, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult, you see, because we're getting closer to the end. And it doesn't generate any more of these slimes, so you don't need to worry about having to kill them quickly before it makes more of them. The number is the number of them is the number of them. You can just take your time. You can see we've really exposed the main body at this side now. It's got nothing covering it at all around here. Again, we're just going to take our time. We're going to make sure we do it properly. If I was playing this myself, not for a walkthrough now, I'd probably try and start damaging the main body right about now. Because I think I could probably get in there and kill it without it causing me too much problem. But because this is a walkthrough, so you can get in here and we hit it and now we've taken health off the main health bar. Because this is a walkthrough and you, I'm assuming, are a new player, I'm going to just be a bit more cautious than that. I'm going to prepare my pine resin. I'm just trying to see if it's going to shed any more. Yeah, it's shed more of its little protectors that are around this side now. I'm just running from pillar to pillar, basically. Let's go. Pine resin. I'm popping it. I'm going to run around here because this part of the main body is exposed. The actual main body doesn't have any attacks, so you don't need to worry about it. It's just the individual shield guys that have the attacks. I'm going to let my stamina rebuild. So if there's no none of the shield guys facing you, it can't do shit to you. You can see we've nearly killed it. And there we go. That is the Phalanx. Well done. You have defeated your first boss in Demon Souls.